Hi and welcome to another KipFX design tutorial. What we're going to show you today is how to add a product to the eStore WordPress plugin. Here we're currently sitting at the normal dashboard after a w, uh, WordPress login. We go from here to store, drop down and we're going to products to add a product. Automatically it opens up on the left hand side to enter product name. So here we're going to enter test product obviously this is whatever you want to call it in price we'll put uh, we'll say 99 pounds always put the dot zero zero in sale price we'll put exactly the same unless you do offer a sale where you can obviously knock off 10 percent 10 pounds or whatever you so wish in the first paragraph we enter um, product description And remember, the more informative, the more informative, the um, the higher your SEO value becomes on it. Product description, and then we'll just copy and paste that a few times just for the sheer hell of it. Um, to just fill it up. Additional description, um, you can put. Um, Available in black and white. Nice spelling there. Now categories. The categories we've already renamed as this is a, an optician site. We've got contact lenses, designer glasses. For the sake of this example we're going to click designer glasses. And there are also men's glasses. So we'll click men's glasses as well. You don't need to click just one. Now they are um, the tags you can add whatever description you want so you want men's uh, whatever extras you want men's um, glasses test product uh, designer whichever relevant words um, uh, match obviously with the product you're putting in shipping details you can ignore with this website Obviously, if you have certain shipping details with yours, then obviously you can add these. So if these glasses weighed, I don't know, um, three pounds, and you're popping three pounds there, and in your settings it will automatically work out cost and description. With the variations, we've got for this product, we've got, bear with me, have a limited number of products. Then we want to file, um, I'll do this in a second, we need to do a refresh for that. Um, select image. I'm just going to click, um, click any image here. We're going to click the BS Tech logo, so I'm sure they won't mind. And then add new product. Now the product is now active, as you can see here, but we've still got it open here. So now that we've added product, we're going to go and select. We have a hundred of these to sell, and. As we've refreshed, we can now enter the variations as you can see. Now, by default, they're always going to be the price that you add when you enter the product. Now, as you can see, these are the variations set by um, required by this optician site. So, single vision with anti glare glasses would cost more. For the sake of this argument, we'll say they cost 129.00. Single vision with transition would cost 149. This is only example prices, remember, please. Um, one four nine, and so on and so forth. So you can edit each one of these with the options on the left. So varifocals with transition is obviously two options plus the ninety nine original price. So you would obviously edit those accordingly. So we'll say two nine nine as an example, and it really is that simple. Now, if you want to add uh, a personal, if you want a customer to personalise the product. So let's say you can pop it in there and that will give them an option on the page to add something personal to it. So it could be that it's a present for someone. Could you please package it to a different name or whatever personalization you want. Click on update. And the product will now be live on the website. So if we go to the online shop now, um, we're going to go... It's in the designer section as we know, it's also in the men's section. So we've now got the product here. Now if you notice from the smaller, these are not full images, 
if you click them, you get the full image. It's a very good way of getting clients to click on something and think, oh, what's that? Increases your page views as well. So here we've got product description, as you know, I copy and pasted. The options, now if we change that to varifocals, the price changes to whatever we set it at. Anti-glare and transition. I didn't set the price on that, obviously. Um, but this will automatically update for you. Then the customer can just click add to cart. And the website will, bear with me a sec, add to cart. Is out of stock. Okay, bad example. Click add to cart on these. And that will be in your shopping basket. Then you can just go to checkout, enter your details, and there you go. At the end of this process, it will redirect them automatically to the prescription page, where they can f then fill out their glasses prescription or their contact prescription with information on how to get their pupillary distance measures. Okay, hope this helps.